Hey y'all, thank you for tuning into this video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I got these corkscrew curls using the Main Choices New Exotic Kool-Aid Collection, which has a shampoo, conditioner, a mask, and a styling oil with a gel. This collection is basically their fruit and nutrient infused scalp care regimen. Okay, so first up, I got a shampoo, and I'll be using the Minty Guava and Kiwi Shampoo. If you're new to my channel, I just took out my box braids after having them in for six weeks, so I really need to go through and clean my hair, and this Minty Guava and Kiwi has me feeling so good. Like, I actually shampooed my hair once already, and this is my second time shampooing because, like I said, I just took out my braids, and I need to remove all this product buildup off my scalp and off of my hair. So this shampoo does have a cooling feeling. I actually didn't feel it when I first applied it, but after working it in and massaging it in my scalp, it did have a nice cooling sensation. So I would say that this is a mild cleanser. Like it's not really a moisturizing shampoo, but it's also not clarifying either. It left my scalp feeling really refreshed and my hair felt good and soft to the touch, but it didn't feel stripped. So as y'all saw, I applied it directly to my scalp. Well, I tried to apply it directly to my scalp. I kept missing and getting it all over my hair. But I tried to apply it directly to my scalp and you see me focusing on massaging my scalp and working that in on my scalp. Then I just kind of like rub my hair with the shampoo. When I shampoo my hair, my focus is getting my scalp clean and then just kind of letting the suds run down on my strands and let that gently break up the buildup. That works best for me as far as shampooing my hair. So now I'm getting ready to deep condition and this is the fresh mango and passion fruit mask. And y'all, I was not expecting it to be this thick, but it is and I'm excited about that because I just took those braids out and I definitely wanna get my hair moisturized and oh my God, this smells really good. Like really, really good. If you're one of those naturals who loves to have a tropical smell or like to smell sweet, you're gonna love this because it has a soft scent but it's not overpowering or strong. It just smells really fresh, like fresh fruit. And as y'all can see, my fingers are just gliding through my curls and my texture is starting to pop. So I left this on for 15 minutes and sat under the dryer and then I rinsed it out. And I followed that mask up with the sweet papaya and pineapple infinite conditioner as my leave-in. And this smell, mm, it smells really good. Like, do y'all like the smell of products? I, I love the smell of hair products. So I love when hair products smell like fresh fruit or like floral. So this is giving me life. I'm excited about having this in my hair care regimen for the spring and summertime. It smells real good, like tropical paradise. This conditioner can be used not only as a leave-in, but as a pre-poo, co-wash, and detangler too, which y'all can see the detangling effects here. I'm able to go through and just comb my hair out with a wide tooth comb. In my braid prep video, I did use this infinite conditioner as my co-wash. And in comparison to the three is the three in one softest can be conditioner, that one is super soft and creamy. This one has more of a slip and is a thicker consistency. Now I'm on to styling and I'm using the luscious lychee and dragon fruit definition of definition jello. That was the full name on the bottom, y'all. I didn't make that up. This styler is very thick and a little bit goes a long way. It went on my hair really soft, not leaving a bunch of buildup, and it left my hair really silky and made it easy to ride, but I did over apply this product in some sections. So in the future, I will be medium and light handed with this. I actually appreciate that because that means I will not go through this bottle real quick. Some styling products I have, I get three uses out of that bottle and it's done. Now I'm a little rusty with the rods because I haven't done my hair in over a month and on top of that I normally use smaller perm rods to do this corkscrew method. But I'm getting a little length so I decided to try it with bigger rods today. So to do this method you have to secure your ends like take the ends of your hair wrap it around the rod and then roll your hair around it once or twice to secure it in place. So when you pull on it the hair should be stuck on that rod because you're going to need tension. Then I'm going to coil my hair around the rod. And y'all, this is really as easy as it looks. Don't overthink it. In fact, try to do it without looking. That may help you. You're literally just winding, twirling your hair around the rod. Like do it without thinking and just, just don't look at yourself, do it. And you guys, you can do this. Now when you get to the roots, 
you have to put the strap over top of the hair so it keeps stretched and so the rod keeps still and does not flop all over the place. Now people always ask me, how do I keep my roots from getting bushy? This right here will keep it stretched when you're drying, but honestly, everyone's roots get bushy when they pick and fluff their hair out. Like I feel like bushy roots, that's just one of those things we nitpick over. We don't notice bushy roots on anybody else, but y'all, my roots are always bushy because I go through and pick it out and that destroys the curl. So don't worry about bushy roots. Just make sure that your ends are good and defined, okay? So one more time on how to do this method, you're gonna go through and secure your ends. You're gonna take your ends, wrap it around the rod, then wrap it around one or two more times until you pull and your ends are not slipping from off of the rod. Then you're gonna go through without overthinking it, try not to look at yourself in the mirror when you're doing it, and just wind or twirl or coil the hair around the rod. Then you're going to take that strap and strap it so that it is laying on top of your hair, okay? So this is it. I sat under the dryer for about 20 minutes and air dried overnight. I will say that this gel dries really quick. I love that because it did not take a long time for my hair to dry. So this is the next day and I'm going to take down the rods and let y'all witness this definition of definition. Y'all see what I did there? Because the name of the product is the definition of definition jello. No? Okay, I'm being corny. All right, I'll let it go. So my thoughts on this gel. I'm getting really good definition. These curls are super bouncy and shiny. This gives me a stronger hold though than I would like for my rod sets. I normally go for a soft hold when I do my rod sets, but this is super strong. And I actually in the future will use this gel for wash and goes. This will be a wash and go gel for me. So after I took all the rods out, I went through with my Mellow Melon and Nectarine Melted Shine Oil just to loosen up those curls a little bit. And it's just like working like magic. You guys see how they're starting to kind of expand already? And I haven't even started separating yet, so I like this oil a lot. It left my hair feeling really soft and it's a real lightweight oil. So I'm going to go through separate fluff and do my thing there. To see a video on how I go through and fluff my hair, go ahead and tap right here and watch this video. So this is the final look, y'all. And you know, I was feeling a little inspired by the spring weather that's coming up. So I went ahead, pulled this little like side puff thing. It took me like 90 seconds to do. But what y'all think? Y'all want me to do a video on how I pinned this up real quick? It was, it was a lot easier than I thought, actually. But anyway, I am done talking. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Do not forget to like. Comment below if you want me to show you guys how I got that pinup style. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Bye.